While forming schools can provide a degree of protection for some fishes, others will take a more direct approach to survival. In the depths of the Mergui archipelago, pastel tilefish use their mouths to build enormous mounds of dead coral. When approached, the fish literally dive headfirst into the rubble. This rare and highly pregnant dwarf whipray near the Boonsung wreck is well disguised against the sand. When the ray is threatened, a quick shuffle can make it almost disappear from view. Blue spotted stingrays occasionally hide in a similar manner. Together with the sting on their tail and their considerable speed, they have the tools they need to avoid attack. If the natural camouflage of the day octopus fails it, then it has another defensive weapon up its sleeve. Mimicry is another common defensive strategy. The straight stick pipefish, a relative of the seahorse, resembles a sea whip waving in the current and hence remains largely unnoticed by predators. This is known as passive camouflage. This ornate ghost pipefish hangs head downwards, mimicking the sea fan behind it. Ghost pipe fish is even able to change its body coloration to blend in perfectly with the environment. This juvenile cheek lined wrasse blends in perfectly with the sea fan behind it. At first sight, the giant frogfish resembles a sponge. It actually walks around the reef using its fins which have evolved into legs. The skin coloration is adjusted to suit the surroundings. Frogfishes are a type of anglerfish and have a very cunning technique for finding food. Their slender dorsal spine, the elysium, is waved around like a tiny fishing rod. Tasty bypassers attracted to the lure at the end of the Elysium are engulfed by the huge mouth in a fraction of a second. Frogfishes sometimes use the same movement as a threat display when they have been detected. The bearded scorpion fish also opens its mouth in a show of aggression, if it is recognised or if it enters into a territorial dispute. The bearded scorpion fish is a master of disguise. It is an ambush predator and changes its colour to blend in with the surrounding environment, making it almost invisible to its prey. Besides the camouflage, scorpion fishes have a formidable armory of stinging spines along their fins for defence. The devil scorpion fish, sometimes known as a false stonefish, 
camouflages itself in the same manner. Its skin is incredibly adaptable in colour and texture. But if it's disturbed enough, the brightly coloured underside of its pectoral fins can help deter attackers. The stonefish possesses an unparalleled combination of disguise and toxicity. Its spines contain some of the deadliest venom of any fish, and it lies motionless, resembling a rock, waiting to attack. Here on the Boonsong wreck, a honeycomb mori barges past a stonefish that it appears not to notice. The stonefish's strategy, when not pouncing on prey, is simply to play dead. Large mores have been known to prey on stonefish. In 1997, the King Cruiser, a passenger ferry, sank between Phuket and Phi Phi Island.